and welcome you to again, again to my YouTube channel. So this is the second video, and in this video, I'm going to, like I said last time, the computer engineer needs to possess some certain skills. That is to have um, to be able to do things well and on time, and also to be able to do things correctly and properly. So today I'm going to be showing some necessary skills and shortcuts you need to possess as a computer maestro to be able to do things correctly and fast. That is, you, you, you use less time to proofread and write or type articles or anything that you wish to type using Microsoft Word. Excel or anything you want to do. So today I'll be showing some shortcuts, just the main and the most commonly used shortcuts that you are going to use to be able to edit your documents, type your documents and so on and so forth. So today some shortcuts you need to know as a computer maestro or a computer guru, that is an engineer you need to possess some certain skills in a way that if you are given a particular document to proofread or to format, you need to know some basic shortcuts in which you can get that document completed in less than no time. So today I'm going to show you some shortcuts you need to know as a computer maestro or an aspiring computer engineer, some skills you need to develop. Not necessarily only for engineers. So if you know you are interested in computer and you, wish to, you are wondering how some people do things very, very fast. I mean, you are, you are sitting with somebody to proofread a particular document. You just see now he has transferred a particular text, a particular page, everything just like that fluent and fast, you are like wondering, wow, what is this guy doing? I don't really understand. So now I'm going to show you some shortcuts you will need to know as a computer maestro. I will advise you, don't just see the shortcuts, but be able to put it in practice. That is, if you have a particular task to do and you want to copy or you want to navigate through the minimized contents and so on and so forth, these shortcuts are going to help you to do that. So I have 15 basic shortcuts here that you need to know as a computer maestro or a computer guru or an aspiring computer wizard, for instance. So yeah, I'm going to take you through the first, before I take you to the first shortcut, there are 15 basic shortcuts you will need to know. So the first shortcut is you have to create a virtual desktop. What do I mean by virtual desktop? That is, you have to create uh, something in a way that you'll be able to navigate. Virtual, I mean, something that is not really real, like to split something into a computer network, for instance, if it comes to the aspect of networking. So you will use you will use the Windows key. This is the Windows key beside the Alt and the Function key. You use the Windows key plus the Control key located below the Shift key. You will combine it together with the Z. So if you take, you tap the Windows key plus the Control key plus Z, you discover everything in your machine has gone back to default on the desktop. So virtual desktop here is trying to tell you that you make your machine in a way that, let me say you come back from work or from school, you're really tired um, and you want to start something, you don't have time minimizing documents and you want your machine to be clear like this, you just take the control, the Windows key the control key and Z. So that is going to help you to go back to, to a clear 
and very thin keyboard. So that's how you create a virtual desktop. And secondly, another shortcut I will show you is I call that to switch between two virtual desktop. That is, we are just from talking about a virtual desktop. Now you learn how to switch between two virtual desktop to make the work more flexible. So firstly, you use the Windows key plus the control. This is really easy. So you take the Windows key located beside the Alt key and the control key located be below the Shift key. So you tap the Windows key plus the control key. That will be able to create so you give you the, 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 the possibility to switch between two virtual desktop. Next thing, to split key between continue. Now to split key between two apps. That is you have two different apps I want to see at the same time. So you click the Windows key and the arrow key. There are four arrows up, down, left, and right. So if you click the Windows key and this arrow key to the right, you will discover that the particular task you are working on has been split up into two apps. That is here you can navigate, and here you can view the other contents. So one person, here I can choose here, I can be playing my game online with someone, and here I can be working on the Microsoft Word document though it's not going to serve two masters at the same time either you follow one or you leave the other okay nextly to return to the desktop from apps to return to the desktop from apps you use the windows key plus n to return to your desktop from apps you use the windows key plus m so use the windows key plus n you see you have come back to your desktop without stress that is if you have a, a jumble of work you have opened many pages you are like oh god what's all this i cannot minimize minimize all this minimize all that just tap the windows key plus m to come back so now the next to switch freely that is, if you want to switch freely between apps that you have opened, you just press the Alt key that I said is located beside the Windows, the Windows key, plus the Tab key located above the cap lock. Alt, you press Alt, plus the Tab key. Alt, plus the Tab key, you see? You can go through. You can go to Document 2. You can go to File Explorer. You can go to this. Then you can come back to document 2 and you release your hand. You come back to this page. You make things very easy. So now many people also have the like, I want to open a browser like Internet Explorer or Chrome. No, just use a simple shortcut on your keyboard to open, for example, Internet Explorer. Or if you have Google, go, go to the Action Center of which is just located here beside the volume button the action center where you see notifications at the action center you can see bluetooth you can connect your bluetooth to a particular device you can see battery saver and so on and so forth so the shortest way to get there if you don't have a mouse you just use the windows key the windows key plus a Pop. You have gone to the action center where you can connect your machine to a device and so on. So now to lock down your PC, to lock down your PC, let me say for instance you're in your room playing video games and your mom, your mother comes in and she's like, you should sleep. But you don't want her to check what you were doing on your machine, for instance. Simply you press the Windows key plus L. It's going to lock down the PC and make sure you have a password or else you just come and click enter and should be able to get in. Nextly, to copy a particular text, 
use control plus c to copy a particular line of text control control key located below the shift plus c you you highlight the text and copy for instance if i want to copy this text i just hover my mouse throughout i tap the control plus c and i come to a blank page and i paste control and now to paste you use the control plus v you see now it has been pasted here so that's it now to shut down machine i'll use you tap the windows key you search you tap this windows key you search cmd which is a command prompt and then you shut down your pc i will get back to this at the end so now to open file explorer file explorer this to open file explorer where you have your files and everything you just the windows button windows button plus e it takes you to your file explorer where you have your files so nextly to cut text to cut text use the control plus x that is if you don't want this particular line of text should be here you hover your mouse you highlight it then you type control plus x it cuts out everything there and that will be the end of the the shortcuts so i would like you to don't just listen to the shortcuts but be able to apply them in formatting documents and so on and so forth and that is if you do that it's going to be very good and and profiting for you so now one of the shortcuts i mentioned was to shut down your computer and i said i'm going to get to that later so now if i want to shut down my computer in a very in fact i love doing this so you go to the windows key you click on the windows key you type cmd which is a command you show which is a command prompt you click enter then the command prompt will be displayed to you then you type in you type shutdown you type shutdown you give a space you take minus h then you click the enter your machine goes off the machine goes off completely so that's an easier way to shut down the laptop thank you guys and please don't forget to subscribe